little say in this. Not only is today my birthday, actually it was yesterday, but today is the holiday of Tisha B'Av, um, which I didn't know when I picked the date. The Tisha B'Av is a sad holiday, a holiday to remember the destruction of the second temple in Jerusalem. I would like to take two seconds this opportunity just to remember a few friends and relatives who were here for my 75th and are not with us today. Pauline McCalla, Priscilla Friedman, Renee Levy, Connie Goldstein, and Phyllis Greenman, and Rita Herzig. We won't forget you, and I'm sure a lot of you know these people. Okay, now for happy announcement. First, congratulations to my friend Teddy, who just celebrated her big birthday a couple of days ago. Teddy. And where is Brenda? Brenda Leventhal, who's celebrating it next week. Did, did I miss? Did I miss anyone? Okay. In honoring my 80th birthday, I wanted to honor everybody in this room who has turned 80 or will do so by August 30th. So my granddaughters were going around giving you a little card. If you didn't get a card and you are 80 or will soon to be 80, see them. Before you go home, there is a present for each of you who are 80 years old because I think you guys are all special. <laughs> I have one more announcement. Congratulations to Cliff and Jennifer on their 50th birthdays, my son and daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what my 50th was. Okay. It's wonderful to be able to celebrate my special birthday with all my friends and relatives who have played an important part in my life. I thank you for coming. My sister Rita, Rita Wave, my niece Lauren and Dan who came down from Boston, this way. Uh, my brother-in-law Tommy who came from Texas, my awesome daughter-in-laws Danielle and Jennifer Wade, uh, my marketer Mr. Carol, um, my Temple Bed Sholem friends, my Fresh Meadow and Glen Oaks friends, my Bucknell friends, my Canasta Bridge and Marjon friends. <laughs> my friends who go to shows, crafts fairs, festivals, and luncheons with me. My friends who share books with me. My friends who share Netflix recommendations with me. My friends who break fast with me. My friends who share internet jokes. My friend from high school, where is Carol? Great night, class of 57. My friend who is the Sussman from Selsa Sussman, Shia. My cousins and other relatives. My amazing sons, Cliff and Stu, wherever you are. Um, my footnote, my son in Israel, of course, could not be here because it is to Shabbat. Uh, my terrific grandchildren, Max, Sabrina, and Maddie, who are representing all the other grandchildren who could not be here and my fabulous husband, Stephen. <laughs> I thank you all for coming and sharing this momentous occasion with me. Um, after all the speeches, we are all going into the living room for the entertainment part, and there will be a dessert buffet, naturally, and coffee and tea later, so thank you. That is one thing that I have in common with my grandma. I have a very busy schedule, and when I do find myself with free time, I love to knit. Yes, I know, kind of ironic that the 16-year-old is knitting for her grandma. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy your new scarf and your favorite color. I love you, and happy birthday. <laughs> If anyone's ever been to Grandma Sandy's house, they know that the entire walls are covered with pictures of her children, her grandchildren, and very few pictures of her. So I made of, yeah. Oh, it's upside down. I made a somewhat collage with all our memories and many pictures of Grandma. <laughs>
part of the speech, but what I was thinking when I was saying hello to everybody that it's like a reunion for me because 27 years being married to Stu, I know almost everybody in the room and not just a hello, but I know everybody well, which is amazing and just really meaningful to me. So glad to see everybody. Um, does anybody in this room know what YOLO means? And I don't want to. I don't want the the younger set to answer. But does anybody else know what it means? YOLO. Okay. Well, it means you only live once, <laughs> and it's meant to be used as a reason to experience life and to not sit on the sidelines. Sandy's been living a life of YOLO for as long as I've known her. I had a very close relationship with my grandparents and loved visiting them always, but we'd usually sit in a chair and chat about their life and the big event was going out to dinner. Not Grandma Sandy. <laughs> Sandy lives life and her grandchildren experience with her. You've kept up with the times, texting with your kids and grandkids, FaceTiming, and I never even asked you, but I bet you know what Snapchat is too. <laughs> Speaking of your grandkids, while you've always enjoyed dates with them since birth, um, as they've gotten older, you've kept up and you've stayed relevant. Just in this year, you spent the weekend watching Maddie in a dive meet in Florida, visiting Jacob in California, you took Maddie and Sabrina to Oxford, England to visit Noah, flew to Israel for Mordechai's wedding, celebrated Max's graduation in Wisconsin, attended Sam's hockey, uh, Sam's hockey games and Sabrina's Shakespeare performance, entertained Alicia and his friend before camp started, shopped all around the city when, Ra um, when Rachel and Henny were each visiting, and in a few months back to Israel for Kayla's wedding. And if that wasn't enough, you also indulged the other grandnieces and nephews with Broadway shows, dates in the city, and shopping sprees. Reminder, this was just this year. <laughs> That's enough to make this 53-year-old tired. You're constantly on the go, whether it's a Pilates class or taking the train and then the subway to see a show or to go shopping, photographing and creating layouts for Fresh Meadows bulletins, fundraising for the Babe golf outing. I guess the only time you sit is when you're playing canasta or bridge. But of course, during those games, you're working your brain. Every year, Sandy invites my mom to her favorite week of the year, Sandy Camp in Florida. <laughs> Sandy has the full week planned with activities. The big joke in the family is that by the time Carol, my mom, has had her coffee and applied her makeup, Sandy has done her water aerobics, gone shopping, and probably snuck in a chocolate chip muffin for breakfast. <laughs> <clears throat> You're a natural beauty, and I know now what the secret is. You're always smiling. I admire you, I learn from you, I enjoy you, and I call you my friend. And I'm not the only one. It's a testament to what a great person you are to see 60 plus people sitting in this room celebrating with you. I decided to borrow a line from my birthday card to you from your 75th birthday. I've learned so much from you over the years, but the two greatest gifts you've given me is that one day I will follow in your footsteps and know how to be the best mother-in-law and grandma. There are very few things in life on which you could put a price tag. One, is one of which is a lifetime full of happy memories and beautiful moments, just like yours. Happy and healthy Asia. Yeah. We, um, and we were gonna do much bigger, we had talked about montage which I'm good at like doing but mom was like no no we've got so much going we've got the music and we got to eat and we got a dessert and then the other dessert and then the music and um, and so I'm gonna keep it very brief um, firstly it's great to see everyone here and somehow I think I'm one of the youngest in the room but somehow I'm the only one with gray hair I don't know I think I need to find a few salons in Long Island that could take care of that because I think everyone else has Except me. Um, anyway, it's great to see uh, everyone. And um, following the theme, uh, and Danielle spoke about it, it is amazing uh, how much my mom does. Uh, it's, 
I, I don't remember that. So growing up, when, when I was growing up, I was a few, four years behind, uh, Stu and, and Larry, um, uh, you went back to work, and it was, you know, you're busy at work, and I was doing my thing, but I, 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 yeah, there, other things kept you busy. But I don't remember all of this. Now, it's just blossomed, you know, in the past 20 years, with the help of maybe the grandkids to, hey, let's do things, that the amount of things that keep you busy, as Danielle explained, is just uh, mind-boggling. And it, and it gives me something to look forward to. A lot of people start to get depressed. As I said, I'm turning 50 in a week. And, and Jennifer, my wife Jennifer is turning. I know, I know. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not, I'm excited because we have until 80 and this is when the good stuff happens, right? It's, people are like, oh my God, it's over. But no, it's, you know, 70s when it's gonna get started, right? That's, you know. So, um, um, so Jennifer, my wife, uh, her birthday is tomorrow. So um, uh, my um, mom and Jennifer always have that bond of being two days apart. And I always have the bond of messing up their birthdays, which is uh, pretty much what I do every year because once the 10th and the 12th and it's very easy to mix those up. And then we, uh, so we're always on the same cycle, right? Um, we're turning 15, turning 80. And then our anniversary um, is also um, on the same. So we have a, a 25th anniversary coming up. So we always have that bond of the, the certain years, which is, um, which is nice. But again, I hope to be um, as busy as you are um, at your age, even, I wish I was as busy as now. I can't even keep up, so um, it's, it, it's tough. I, I feel lazy and when she's telling me exactly what I'm doing, when she's telling me the things she's doing. So, um, so anyway, so happy birthday. I hope everyone loves the, the, the theme and uh, it was fun. We, I put the invitation together with my mom and, and she had all these grand ideas and I just helped her execute, but it looks great with the colors. This is exactly what she wanted, all our friends here. So I will um, keep it short, and um, and Stu's going to stay a f uh, say a few words, and we'll um, and then um, we'll go from there. Thanks, everyone. All right, good job, Cliff, all right, and Danielle, and everybody. All right, I wrote a couple of words. So, Mom, happy birthday! I love you, and thank you for teaching me and being an inspiration for uh, me and my family just to do more. And I'll just share four quick examples. Number one appreciating the arts. And through your love and passion for theater, musical theater, movies, books, photography, that we and I have learned to really appreciate the arts. And really, you've made sure we all have fun hobbies, and now my grandkids have fun hobbies, and now even my oldest son is pursuing the arts as a career. So it's, uh, you know, bottom line, you really showed us that surrounding, simple, surrounding yourself with things that you love and love to look at brings happiness. So, in fact, I think we were joking in the car, and like typical guys, I play a lot of show teams in the car. <laughs> and that's kind of uh, reminds me of you and all the fun uh, musical theater we've gone to. Number two is to give to others. And a charity has always been a part of you, whether giving your time to or Temple Beth Shalom, or the big cancer research, or just giving a dollar to the beggar on the street in New York City. You've always really embedded us and me with the need to help others. And one story is just the way that you shared your love for Israel and transferred that to all of us. As my three kids have now uh, taken gap years in Israel, and of course, not really his family lives there, but you didn't just you know, give money to a charity for Israel, you actually went there and volunteered in their army and to show us, you know, to roll up your sleeves and actually painted the tanks and show us firsthand how, uh, how to really give back. And I would say that my personal and my leadership at UJA is really inspired by you. So thank you. Number three is working hard. So as you've heard, my mom does so much in a day from working out and working in the office, attending, attending the film festivals and the bridge. And uh, it's really inspired me and, and my brothers really to do more. And as you know, we all have our own businesses and have really uh, are able to kind of maximize our own time and, and to do a lot and so forth. So again, inspired by you. And finally, number four is really to cherish and celebrate family and friends. So you've always made family and friends a priority, whether it's celebrating the Jewish holidays with family and friends, or just celebrating all the incredible Seltzer family life events here in the US, here in Israel, uh, or the vacations in Boca, which I think we have the record, right, Danielle, 17 years in a row for Christmas vacation there. But uh, just showing me how all these events are, are really how you cherish these events. And they, again, just bring happiness. 
So, and again, how inspiring it is to see everybody here. This is kind of a big extended family. It's amazing how many people I've, that I've known for 30, 40 years, which is amazing. So, um, so thank you, Mom. Again, happy birthday, and thank you for continuing to inspire me and being the ultimate cheerleader. I love you. Thanks. Well, I tell you, this is really a wonderful occasion, and as Stuart, Cliff, Danielle, and the girls all said, um, all of you have been to so many occasions with us. I just wanted to summarize. Uh, this is the 80th birthday, four score, and one day ago, Sandy was born at Lenox Hill Hospital, August 10th, 1939. And um, it's been... Uh, 80 spectacular years where we've celebrated so many occasions here at Fresh Meadow. We celebrated her 40th birthday here. It was supposed to be at Papa Gallo's in Glenhead. It's a blackout and 60, 70 people came here for dinner. Uh, we also celebrated, I had a 45th birthday, Sandy had a, a 65th birthday, a 75th birthday, and a few years ago, we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary, which many of you were here to attend. So, anyway, I wanted to recap quickly Sandy's 80 years and what she has accomplished. I'm only going to take a few minutes, but I'm going to try and capsulize it. First of all, it's a little highlight reel in 20 year segments. After living in Brooklyn from 1939 to 1947, Sandy and her family moved down the street. When you come out of the club, you make a right and a left, she's four blocks away. And she and her family joined Fresh Meadow in 1947. That means she's been here 72 years. Uh, I think Alan Green and maybe um, Morty Howard have been here longer, but uh, it's a long time to be here. But when she was here, when she was younger, you couldn't come on the premises until you were 12. So the rules have changed. Now it's 12 months. It used to be 12 years. <laughs> um, I wanted to just also highlight, so for those 10, 20 years, 39 to 49, Sandy grew up across the street, went to Great Neck High School, worked at the Kings Point Day Camp as a photographer, graduated Great Neck, went to Simmons College, transferred to, from Simmons to uh, um, Finch College in the city. And in December 59, at the end of that 20 year cycle, something really important happened. She met me at a party. <laughs> and from there, it was go. The next 20 years, uh, was from 70, 59 to 79, which was the most productive time of her life. We were married in 62. We had Larry in 64, Stewie in 65, Cliffy in 69. We bought our first home in Roslyn in 67. We joined Fresh Meadow in 67, joined Temple Beth Shulman in 67, and celebrated the bar mitzvahs of Stewart and Larry at Beth Shalom and many of you are here were at those nice occasions. The next 20 years, 79 to 99, our three sons graduated from high school, from Lehigh University, from Tufts University, and they, we had three weddings. I'm the only man alive who pays for three weddings for three sons. <laughs> I don't look that stupid, but I don't know. <laughs> So during that 10 year period, we celebrated their weddings and the arrival of five grandchildren. Sandy also started her career as a full-time controller and bookkeeper for my firm, Seltzer at Sussman and Haberman. And uh, she'd been working there for 40 years, from nine to five, except when she has bridge, mahjong, <laughs> or canasta. But she works by the hour, she punches out, and, and, and when she leaves at 2 o'clock, so it's okay. Uh, she also found time during that 20-year gap to publish Fresh Meadows monthly bulletin, which she did for 25 continuous years. And at Beth Shalom, she did the monthly newsletter, which she did for 15 continuous years. So she found the time on top of working, playing cards, to do all of these nice things. So the last 20 years, 99 to 219, 
Sandy's been consumed by spending as much time as possible with her 11 grandchildren. She has taken them to see three or four Broadway shows every year, has traveled with them one-on-one -on -one to Spain, Italy, Holland, Paris, London, Denmark, and of course Israel. And nothing gives a greater pleasure than to take these children, grandchildren with her, show them the world, and show them all there is out there for them to enjoy when they get older. Sandy still finds time to raise funds for charity, and her love right now is the American Cancer Society, and over the last 10 years, she's been running the Bay Journal with such success that there was a party and celebrating the fact that from Fresh Meadow, she raised for the Bay Journal over $1 million over the last 10 years. She has endless energy, as you've heard, and yet she still finds time, as I said, to work full time, play cards two or three times a week, and as many of you know, she reads a book every two weeks, she starts a new book, whether it's in the, I'm driving the car, wherever we're going, she never looks out, she's reading a book, so, which is okay, because there's no, it's very quiet, it's very nice. <laughs> I get exhausted watching her daily regimen from 6 in the morning when she wakes up to 11 at night every day of the week. However, I must tell you confidentially, I'm really lucky to have been married to her for the past 57 years. God willing, we're able to celebrate with all of you our 60th anniversary here in three years. Sandy, you are the best. I love you dearly. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> well, first of all, Arlene and I, Eleanor, we are Canasta Fresh Meadow friends of Sandy's, to let you know. And I'm a Rosalind friend, too. <laughs> I know I'm in awe of you, and we are just so proud to be your friend, and we personally are honored to be here, along with, I'm sure, all of your other friends. And we know that you had your rule on the invitation. And rules are made to be broken. <laughs> and yes. here is something that we want you to have as a memento of this, this milestone. This is from many of us here who are just rule breakers. <laughs> we we couldn't include we could not include everybody you don't because <laughs> but everybody was thrilled to take part and we're we are in awe of you, and we're out of breath listening to, <laughs> to everything, and we hope you like it. And, and I don't think you obey all the rules either. <laughs> Enjoy, and we love you. And what you share with the world, the world needs more of it now. Can't smile.